Good morning, everyone. Thank you for returning to my channel. I just want to welcome you back, and I'm hoping that the words you are receiving here on this platform are encouraging and building you up in faith and helping you to draw near to the Lord Jesus Christ in these troubling times we're living in. For those who are new to my channel, thank you for joining me today. I would ask that you would subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell for notification of new videos as they are released. And thank you for joining me all today. Today I would just like to share what the Lord has put on my heart this morning as I sat with him. He reminded me that his word is quite clear that in the last days we will see troubling times on the earth, that there will be great wickedness and unrighteousness, and that we will see men turning away from God who become haters of God and haters of men. And I think we know that we are in these times and that we are seeing these things round about us. We are seeing evil in every area of society. But we also know from Scripture that Jesus came to seek and save the lost, that God's heart is that none should perish, but that all should come to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. And we also know from Scripture that our battle is not a battle against flesh and blood, that it's a battle against evil forces in heavenly places. And we know that our true enemy is Satan. And we know, too, that the enemy works through men. And there are strongholds in the lives of many who have been captured by the antics of the enemy, who have been deceived by him. But in this day, the Lord is campaigning for the lost. And he is going ahead of us and doing a great work amongst us to bring in the lost. His heart is that these who have fallen away and the ones who have been captured by the enemy would turn, repent of their sins, and make their relationship right with the Heavenly Father. I hope as you listen to this word, it will encourage you that though we live in troubling times, in the end times, in times of this great wickedness, that God is moving amongst us and he is accomplishing great things. I'd like to begin reading scripture, Matthew 24, verse 9 through 14. Then you will be handed over to be persecuted and put to death, and you will be hated by all nations because of me. At that time, many will turn away from the faith and will betray and hate each other, and many false prophets will appear and deceive many people. Because of the increase of wickedness, the love of most will grow cold, but the one who stands firm to the end will be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations, and then the end will come. This scripture clearly describes the end times where wickedness will abound where the love of many will grow cold. And this takes place just before the Lord's return. Luke 19, verse 10. For the Son of Man came to seek and save the lost. This scripture is short but precise, and it tells us that Jesus' mission on the earth was to come and seek and save those who would be lost those who would have no relationship with the Lord. And he made a way for us to have right relationship with the Lord. Mark 16, verses 15 through 16. He said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. 
but whoever does not believe will be condemned. This scripture shows us that the Lord would want his word to go forth, that people would hear the gospel message, and they would have the opportunity to be saved from the deceptive times that we live in. Acts 3, verse 19. Repent then and turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. This scripture is an invitation to turn to God. I'll begin reading the word. I am a mighty warrior, and I am coming to upset the apple cart of those who have been working behind the scenes to bring down a nation, says the Lord. Yes, I am on the move to capture those who thought they could get away with their evil plots and plans. But understand that the battle is a spiritual battle, and that the true enemy is the enemy of the souls of men, says the Lord. And understand that my love is at work to heal the brokenhearted and to forgive those who turn to me in repentance. What you see in political arenas, in media, and in the schemes of men to dominate a people is just an illusion, for I am actively involved working out my plan to bring in an abundant harvest in this day. The souls of men is my concern, says the Lord. I desire that none should perish, but in this generation I have been taken to the task. No other generation has been so disobedient, deceived by the enemy, and led astray. The hearts of men have grown cold, and evil has abounded. Even in my church, the hearts of many have grown cold. But there is good news, says the Lord. I am on the move to apprehend the enemy, to nullify his works of darkness, and to win the hearts of those who have wandered afar. My plan is to usurp power from the hands of men and to demonstrate my power throughout the earth. Signs, wonders, and miracles unknown by this generation shall be released by the power of my spirit to break the power that has been operating in the hearts and lives of ungodly men. This is the day and this is the hour of redemption, for a wave of my spirit will be released into the harvest fields and multitudes will be delivered from demonic strongholds that have held them captive, says the Lord. So rejoice and be glad, my people, for the day of release has come and your households shall be filled with the glory of the risen Lord. Declare my word. Make it known, for the world will once again know that the Lord God Almighty reigns. So this word is not a long one today, but it was what was on the heart of the Lord this morning and what he wanted me to share with those who would have the ears to hear. As we see, the Lord is at work. He is working in the hearts of men because his desire is to seek and save the lost. Even in these last days, he is giving another chance to those who have wandered away from him and those who have been caught in the clutches of the enemy's plans. He's a wonderful, miracle-working God who never gives up on his creation. Let's all be thankful and give thanks on this day for the wonderful things our Lord God is doing amongst us. I pray the Lord will bless you on this day, that he will encourage you to keep your eyes on him, to recognize the times we're living in, and to know that God is working out his plan to bring the nations into repentance. Thank you for listening today, and may you have a wonderful afternoon, and we'll talk to you again the next time. Thank you for joining me, and bye for now.